I'll just add one thing to that, actually. There's a little bit of news here from the conference uh, next um, Tuesday, I believe. Uh, December 13th, anyway, whichever day that is, there's going to be a major church action here in Copenhagen and around the world. Churches around Copenhagen at 3 p.m. will be ringing their bells 350 times, 350 parts per million being the number that everyone's talking about, where we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere to that number, 350, in order to stabilize the climate. Churches will be ringing their bells 350 times uh, next uh, on December 13th during the summit to raise their voices in that way to 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 say that they want strong action on climate change. Yeah, that's right. And I, I, at, the, at the top level, um, the churches are all on board. You know, the Archbishop of Canterbury is here, um, and, and, and all, all, the, all the sort of the, the big denom. We work with all the big denominations, and they're they're all on board. But the it, it's at the it's at the local level. It's at the ordinary individual level, where in a democracy, we only win on climate change if the whole population begins to think this is an issue. Uh, governments can't do it on their own because if they, if they did take serious action they'd be voted out. Um, we only get to win when the whole population begin to say this is our issue. And as people who care about the environment we need to understand what motivates people, what, what actually what drives people. And if we try and persuade people by using the, um, uh, the arguments that necessarily persuaded us and make that the only route in then we limit the number of people who can who can join in. It seems to me that, uh, that the route in for Christians is so obvious. It's so it's so it's so close to the heart of you know, loving God and loving your neighbour. The earth is the Lord's. I mean that that that's that's you know the first verse of, of Psalm 24 and everything in it. This is this is His. We shouldn't damage it. So uh, it seems to me that um, that's how we persuade the churches and that's how we persuade Christians and that's how. It sounds like somebody's persuaded behind us. Um, and, and the churches have a huge role in then influencing the rest of society. The churches have a massive impact. We only have about one minute left. Uh, Anurad, I want to squeeze in one more point from our viewers. Well, you mentioned the Archbishop was here, Brendan. Is there any chance you could persuade him to come along too? Because he has been a powerful advocate about climate change from very early days, not just you know in the last few months like some people, but really for, for many years now. Is there any chance of that? Well, I'm hoping to interview myself because I'm sending out prayer materials for here to church churches around the world. Um, if, I, if I get to speak to him, I'll mention that this exists. I, I'll do my best. You could, perhaps you could send your interview of him across and maybe we can find a way to include it on the air if it seems it seems easy. If I get that, I'll, do my, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do that, yes. Fantastic. Uh, we take all comers here at One World on One Climate. This is the One Climate Channel broadcasting uh, from the UN Climate Summit here in Copenhagen. Brendan Bowles, Climate Stewards, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Glad my voice held out. Thank you. You're watching One Climate, live from the Copenhagen Summit.